Hey guys, uh, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create a contact page using uh, the Nimva team. Okay, so uh, let's go ahead and uh, go to pages, add new. I'm already here, uh, so let's enter a title for our new page. Um, let's enter Nimva contact page. Okay, so uh, next thing uh, you want to do is uh, select from the template template uh, drop down box select contact okay um, you can enter here uh, some info if you want uh, let's just, let's just leave it like that for the moment and click the publish button okay let's view uh, our page and now as you can see um, we have here something that was supposed to be the Google map um, but for some reason no, nothing is generated because, generated because we haven't uh, entered a valid address uh, for our contact page okay so um, we need to go to uh, team options so let's open this in, the new, in a new tab we'll just leave this page open okay and go here to the contact options so we have here a bunch of options that we are going to use to create our um, contact uh, page uh, this, the first thing you want to do is uh, actually enter an um, address this uh, should be your uh, business address or whatever address you want to use for, uh, for your contact page I'm just going to use uh, this uh, default uh, address paste it here okay save changes and let's go to our page and click refresh and now as you can see we have a google map auto generated based on the address that we entered we also have a nice pop-up message um, telling our visitors that we are rocket uh, we have a short message here we have the address we have a phone number and of course the email where our visitors can contact us, uh, us. okay um, let's go back to the team options and um, we have let's talk about uh, these options here okay so we have a google map type you have four different types here which you can use the satellite roadmap hybrid and terrain i'm just going to use the roadmap we have a google map width um, you can either uh, use a percent or a pixel value I'll leave this to 100% uh, to use a full width uh, map as you can see here it stretches to the entire uh, width of the page you have the Google map height you can uh, uh, use uh, pixels here we have a default uh, 400 pixels um, which um, is um, in my opinion the perfect uh, height for your Google map okay uh, next you have here the Google map pop-up title this is actually uh, the title that you see here we are rocket Thames. so you can um, just use your own uh, message here uh, something like um, hey welcome to our contact page um, you can also customize the message that appears um, the, this title so all this message here let's uh, type something like we are glad you found us um, we hope to get in touch with you um, real soon okay let's uh, see it save changes go back to our page hit refresh And now as you can, you can see we have uh, uh, the okay we have a typo here don't worry about it but what's important is that uh, our settings have been updated uh, the address is looking nice um, you can enter your own uh, email address here like uh, maybe mail at mysite.com and your own uh, phone number um, 555 call me now okay 
we have the map zoom level um, which you can use uh, let's go ahead and select maybe 18 save changes okay go back to your page hit refresh and now you can see uh, a lot uh, of uh, Google Map which is more zoomed in than the previous um, setting that we used. You can go ahead and play around with the, the zoom uh, level until you're comfortable with the result. We have some options here that uh, will disable the scroll wheel because uh, right now you can zoom in and zoom out uh, with your uh, mouse scroll wheel. You can disable that option for instance. We can disable the map zoom and pan controls icons. Um, this is the zoom control that I'm clicking here. This is the pan. Okay, you can disable these uh, controls here. Um, you can disable the map type control. Um, this is the map type control. You can use satellite or map, whatever you like. Okay. Uh, you can also disable the street view so users won't be able to do anything on your page like um, like uh, you know dropping the uh, this little guy to actually navigate on uh, your street I recommend to leave, leave this on okay but I'm going to show you exactly what happens with uh, all that settings uh, turned off as you can see we have no controls here no more control here and when I scroll, um, the zoom in and zoom out effect doesn't work. Uh, only the page will scroll, not the actual map. Okay, um, let's go back to our page. Again, you can use uh, some of the options here. You cannot use the sidebar. Um, actually, you can. You can just disable it. Um, that's something I would recommend. For instance, uh, enable sidebar, select no. Um, again, for the title, uh, you don't need to use it. Okay, hit update. Go back to your page, hit refresh. Now we have uh, just a, a page with the Google Map. Uh, let's enable the backend editor. Um, click on add the row. Um, I'm going to use the row uh, with two columns, okay? I'm going to add here um, a title, something like um, contact us, um, text. And I'm going to select uh, an icon. Uh, this pin here, okay, click save, let's add some text, text block, I'm just going to copy paste this uh, a bunch of times, a couple of times, sorry, okay, save, for this one here I'm going to use the contact form 7 uh, element, select it, I already have a form created, if you don't have any forms created, go to um, go to contact and create a new form okay I'm going to use this one with the captcha hit update go back to your page hit refresh and now as you can see we have our Google map at the top and we have here um, contact uh, as text and of course uh, the contact uh, uh, form. Um, let's just go here and do some tweaking on the row. We have too much uh, padding at the top. I'm going to use uh, zero padding. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and add the title as well here. Click on the plus sign, click on title, enter something like contact form. Okay, uh, use any icon you want. I'm going to use uh, this one, OK, click Update, go back to your page, hit Refresh,
and now as you can see we have uh, a pretty nice page we have uh, um, the Google map at the top and everything is aligned correctly the spacing is a lot um, smaller we have a title here a title for the form we have uh, just some uh, text I, I've added and we have the form here if you click on send message it won't work because uh, we haven't entered any uh, information okay so that's just um, how easy it is to create a contact map for your um, website okay so uh, i guess uh, this concludes uh, the contact creating a contact map in Ninva, and um, hope to see you next time thank you for watching bye bye